What is up team happy and fit? I love that you are a newer coach on our team or you're a more veteran coach and you just want to learn and grow and become a better mentor and leader. That is what's up. Uh, I really am thankful that you're a part of this community. This community isn't just about fitness and nutrition. It's about mindset. It's about growth. It's about vision. It's about what do you want to say yes to in the future? I really do believe that this opportunity can do that for you. It's going to take some digging um, maybe through some doubt, some fears, some hesitations, um, and setbacks, because I think, uh, we can be our worst critic and we can pump ourselves up with so much fear, um, that we don't actually get started. And I'm an impulsive person. And so when I got started, I just kind of figured it out for, I drew a line in the sand and I said, I am doing, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to give myself more choices in life. Because someone's no objection, if they were to ever say anything about what it is that I'm doing, my vision's bigger than that. I'm more inspired than full of fear. And I always led with my inspiration. I always led with what I wanted life to be like versus what it felt like currently, if that makes sense. So there is this custom action plan. And what I want you to do in the coach club, that's our business builder page, I'll put it up in happy and fit as well, is something that you can download. And this is an amazing resource for you. And I'm gonna walk through it with you, part of it, uh, to use for yourself on a roadmap, a roadmap on where you're going and how you're gonna get there. And then also, it's a great, custom action plan for you to use as a mentor. And I want to work through this. So if you can grab a notebook and pen, that would be amazing. And I'm just going to ask the questions to you, but you can go download this later if that makes sense. So with the first one we're going to get started is what are your main reasons for getting started? What are your main reasons? So that could be something like you just wanted to get in shape right? That's a great reason to get started with our team. For me, I wanted to be a part of the conversation. And what I mean by that is I had heard a Zoom and it was so forward thinking. It was so positive. Everyone was setting goals. And I remember feeling so exhausted and drained as a teacher that I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to have that community. Maybe it's to be on a team. Maybe you had been a part of teams on high, in high school and in college and you missed that team atmosphere. Maybe it was to get in on the savings. You love the idea of having 25% off because you really wanted to incorporate Shakeology into your life, Energize, BOD, whatever is that, that is. And you were like, man, that 25% savings, like I need that. I think that's a steal. Who loves Amazon Prime, right? Like, uh, amazing. Maybe it was to earn an actual income or an extra income, but I want you to write that down. Maybe it's to grow a business. For me, it was an originally to be a part of the conversation, but I really liked the idea of being able to be myself, to share my voice and my story. Cause I feel like with teaching it's, this is who I had to be. You have to wear this. <laughs> you have to show up at this time, right? You have to teach this objective you have to do this. That's fine. Right. But I also liked this whole idea of being me. Like no one tells me when or what or how, like, I feel like there was this independence piece. So go ahead and write that down. Your main reasons. Would anyone be willing to share what their main reason was? I can go. Go ahead, girlfriend. So I had three really that I always remember. And I would say the main one is consistency and working out. And then after that, I wanted a discount on Shakeology. And then I always saw you like posting things that were so positive. And I was like, I need that in my life because people around me are so negative. That is so powerful. So I had all three. I love that. So one, that's, ladies, like, that's a really good idea for posting. So don't forget this. Like, if you're like, I don't know what to post on social media, sometimes it's just simply your main reasons for doing this. Like, what did you need? What did you crave? And then you just keep sharing that story because that's going to relate to someone who, like Caitlin, was like, I just need more consistency in working out. 
I need to be held more accountable. And what's cool about that is what she can expand on in her social media posts with that is I didn't realize it would turn into, I thought it would just be like awesome savings, but I didn't realize I would also gain a sisterhood. I also didn't realize that I would travel to Northern California to hang out with my friends, right? Like I didn't know it was going to turn into this whole mastermind and working on my mindset. I didn't realize that I needed as much positivity in my life than I wasn't getting, right? That's really powerful. Thanks for sharing that, Caitlin. Um, okay. And I didn't know that was you at first because it says iPhone and then I don't know. I just, your glasses, I'm not even really sure. It was pretty awesome though. Okay. The next question is, what is your experience so far with Beachbody programs or your own fitness nutrition journey and be specific? So for example, when I first started, um, I think I had done Insanity once in college. I thought Beachbody was you got fit on a beach. I'm not kidding. Like what a weird name, Beachbody. Like what the heck? And then two, um, I hated fitness. <laughs> So, um, I didn't, I had never tried Shakeology, so I had zero experience as far as Beachbody goes. Um, but my own fitness journey was a shit show. So that's what I would write down probably. Um, I was a binge eater, calorie counter. I loved Cheez-Its and beer. I was like, that's honestly my experience. Like that's like you guys, not the top candidate of what you think a health and wellness coach would be, right? It just shows you that there's no credentials. Qualify yourself. So what is your experience so far? Now I've completed so many programs. I drink Shakeology regularly, right? I feel more confident. You guys, how many of you were ever nervous going to the gym because you didn't know what to do? You were guessing, right? Uh, I feel like for me with teaching, it starts to get dark so early. The last thing I would want to do after a school day was go to the gym. I loved that I could work out in my classroom. I loved that I could do that. So your experience so far with any Beachbody programs or your own fitness and nutrition journey. That's also really great social media content. Okay. The next question is. How can extra income, this one's powerful, help you? It could even just be, I don't want to say just be, but it could be a hundred dollars a week. Like what would that do for you? What kind of stress would that ease up in your life? Uh, would it be more fun money? Maybe you don't have any fun money. You would love to get a manicure. You would love to get Keely a prenatal massage, right? Caitlin, a prenatal massage. Maybe Turner, it's something that you would want to go on a shopping spree, right? Like what would this fun money do for you or extra hundred dollars do for you? What are some lifestyle goals and dreams that you have? Guilt-free pedicure. You would want to get your hair done every six weeks and not feel guilty about it. It could be something that's getting your eyebrows done. It could be you're needing new shoes. It could be you really want to treat yourself to Lululemon leggings. But it could also be you want to contribute to your household income. You want this to go through to, to debt. You want to pay off a credit card. You want to help with rent, the mortgage. You want to pay off your car. You want to get a new car. Groceries. Send gifts to people you love. Christmas. How can an extra income help you? I have a quick question. Sorry. What's that? No, don't be sorry. Should we do like what we were hoping the income would do at the beginning or now? I would say now where you are now. Okay. If that makes sense, but it could be both. Let's see what Janae wrote. Travel. That is so powerful. Like think about that. Do more activities get your hair done, giving to those in need. Absolutely. Like I just even think about like a friend. Okay. One of my friends just had a miscarriage 
and a group of my friends from college, we all got into a message thread. Well, we have a message thread, but we made a new one since she's in that other one. This message thread has been going on for 11 years. It's amazing. Um, and there was a new one and it said, hey, would you all be able to send $25 so I can go to Trader Joe's, get all of her favorite things, flowers, wine, all this stuff. And then I'll drop it off at her house and it's from all of us, like a care package. No problem. Isn't that powerful? Or like your friends who have any kind of registry that it doesn't like suck the life out of you that you can actually be like, man, I really want to contribute $50. Like I really want to, right? Like that stuff's powerful, that extra, that maybe that feels a little tight in your chest. And I just feel like giving shouldn't be held back, right? Money shouldn't be our reason not to do blessings. Um, and I think that knowing what extra income, because at the end of the day, if you're joining and you're wanting more out of this, or you're helping other people who want more out of this, whether you're here for mentoring or you're here to be mentored, right? Um, I think if you have money, you would want more fun money. And if you don't have a lot of money, that's a heck of a burden. And no one wants that, that elephant on their chest. And I feel like when I was teaching, I didn't see a way out of that because you go to school, you get your degree and you're at a job that is capped and you're like, how am I going to do this forever? And I always associated money to a degree. So I had shortcomings. I thought this is what it'll always be. And then once I joined Beachbody for the conversation, right, I was shown this could be the bridge to freedom. What in the heck is that? Because that's not what we talk about in teaching. You're saying if I show up hard in my own self-care and share my story consistently, and get over my damn self and actually invite people to join alongside me that I could bless more people, have more freedom, get an elephant off my chest, have more choices, travel more, get my hair done, build a savings, pay off debt. What? I was exposed to a whole new life. It didn't, it didn't need credentials. It didn't need any kind of college degree, diploma nothing. It just needed ambition, consistency, and a dream. That's what you have at your fingertips. And why is it that some people do it and some people don't? Vision. You have got to see that this can do something for you. And you've got to believe that you're worthy enough to do it. We can get so caught up in our head and think that we are undeserving. And that is a lifetime of self-doubt built into your soul. And I think the beauty of this team is we get to reverse engineer that. It's difficult. It's still taken me five and a half years to realize money is not hard to come by. But I am trying to reverse a lifetime of thinking. But I'm so grateful I am because I'm chipping away at it and showing myself that I can. How can extra income help you? By the way, you're not having this conversation anywhere else. And by the way, this is limitless. Health and wellness is for life. You invested in a business that is needed for life. Pretty powerful. And so if you were mentoring a new coach with this plan, and by the way, best is one-on-one. -on -one best with this action plan. Okay. I'm doing it to a group right now to teach, but to also help. When you are helping a new coach or you are a new coach, I want you to be choosing your resources carefully because what tends to happen is we want to add people to all these groups in hopes that they'll take off. And that's overwhelming. So in my suggestion, depending on what they want to do based on their answers, so your answers were like, give more without having to think about, right? That's telling me, Keely, that you want more from this business. You're not just here for savings. 
you're not just here for the workouts. Like you're here to do something with the business, whether it's making a hundred dollars a week or $500 a week, your answer is telling me you want to do more with this. So that's telling me happy and fit is a good space for you. Or the coach collab is a good space for you, but I'm not going to add you to team rockstar fit. I'm not going to add you to all these other places. I'm going to be very strategic about where I add you. And I'm actually going to send you the link to request to join. So a new coach that I helped get started today, I sent her the link to team happy and fit for her to request to join. Does that make sense? And so I'm not adding coaches to all these spaces. And then next, so you add them to a space, but based on what their time looks like with their job, I would not say, all right, Keely, I need you to get on the Q and A, and then I want you to get in best practices, and then I want you to get on the Saturday chat. Based on that person's schedule, I'm going to have them either pick the national wake up call. And that's awesome because they can watch the recording, right? That's every Monday, but you can listen to it anytime during the week. And I would help them get like set a timer in their phone with that, right? Or I really want them to get on the best practice call. That's probably the number one I would pick out of all the team calls, either that or the Saturday chat. Um, I think the Q&A is more for those who are wanting to do more in that moment, right? That they've been in this a little bit longer. Um, so I would only connect them to a few things, if that makes sense. And then with time, when I first started, I added them to like five pages. That's overwhelming. I'm only going to pick like a few things that fit into their schedule, if that makes sense. And then I remember Brittany Burmeister hopped on a call right away. And I said, why did you do that? She said, I didn't know there was an option not to. So with the best practices, this is when our team calls are, this is where you're going to get mentored. This is where I need you to plug in, right? Speak with that direction. And then they won't know that there's another option. So rock the business. That's a coach training that we have. We call it um, coach mentorship. I would, Trina adds them their second month as a coach. She does not add them right away. And that was really helpful to hear. I joined that as soon as I started, but she would rather meet one-on-one -on -one and go through this and then help them get a win and then add them to a training a couple months later. I just thought that was really fascinating. Okay, next question. Based on the answers, what are you inviting to? I would say if you are wanting to make money in this or more, the coaches who build a team make the most money. How and why? Beachbody's compensation plan is wired that way. Meaning Beachbody is saying, Hey, if you build a team and if your team and organization makes $300, we're going to give you 14 of that. It's only coming from Beachbody. So you're not only making retail, you're also getting paid by Beachbody in a lot of other ways. So inviting to the team. Well, how do you do that? You talk about the team. Hey, I'm a part of this team, this community, right? And what is it doing for you? Why did you get started? Go back to that first question, right? And then we have a resource in our sneak peek page. You can tag them under the video I just did. I would love to give you more details about it. Do you have time to watch a quick video? Uh, I don't know if it's that quick. You could do, um, on my YouTube, there's a four minute video about the team. You could send them that video. How I built my diamond business is I used a webinar Trina created that I didn't know the answers. I didn't know how to talk about coaching. I used resources, but I had to be willing to ask the question. I made a dream team list, right? I just started talking about coaching and why I joined, why I love it. I'm a business owner. Da, 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 da. I had to be willing to do that, but I used a third party tool, which I still do by the way, to help invite to the team, if that makes sense. Maybe you're inviting to a group. Maybe you're gonna do a 21 day fix group and that is what you're gonna market. And since it's no excuse November, that's just a marketing thing Beachbody's doing right now for $20 off any challenge pack. So maybe it's no excuse November, but you're gonna find a specific program and you're gonna talk about, hey, we're gonna get fit for 21 days. 
we're going to work out 21 days. We're going to work on ourselves for 21 days. Who wants to join me? So maybe you're inviting to a program, right? Three day refresh. That's perfect after Thanksgiving. If you start talking about that now and you start that in the beginning of December, you'll have a group of people there. And don't just go with the three day refresh, go with the challenge pack option, which is a month of Shakeology and the refresh. Don't play small. It's $140. Talk about it. I think it's 140. Don't misquote me. Maybe it's not. Um, but I think that it is. Maybe you're inviting to your own sponsors group. I've had coaches do that too, build better habits, charge mama, wellness, like different things where I have my new PS coaches invite to the group that I'm doing. When I first started, I started my own group. I had never been a part of a group before. I had no idea what I was doing, but I figured it out. There's a lot of resources. Set a date and figure out who and how. So when does your group start? Or if you're talking about the team and inviting, being like, okay, for the next 14 days, I'm gonna invite straight to the team for the next 14 days, right? I'm gonna have three people join my team by December 1st. Set that date and then you got it. And then when you help new coaches get started, you can go through this document with them. How powerful is that, right? Also coaches, I would send an email to all of your PS coaches. I, my PS coaches are going to get an email from me soon. And it's just something simply, Hey, how are you? I wanted to connect and I want to create a roadmap for you. I want to help support you in your goals. I would love for you to send me a time and day that works best for you. And I would love for you to download this document. I can't wait to chat and we'll see who responds. I don't know. And then the next question is communication for our next one-on-one. -on -one. And then you set a date right on that call. And you write it in your calendar. They set it in their calendar, right? And also, by the way, after you meet on a one-on-one, -on -one, the next time you meet can really be in a text message. It does not have to be on a Zoom call if you don't want it to be. It can be in a message thread. Maybe that works best for them. And then what you do from there is, I'm not going to go over this right now, but in this action plan, you can go through these questions in the next call. And that's on this action plan that I put in the Coach Collab. It's questions such as, what makes you most nervous about coaching? By the way, that's a great answer for you to, or question for you to answer, and a great thing to post on social media. What made me so nervous about this? What made me so on the fence about this? What made me hesitant about this? For me, I wasn't hesitant at all, so I talk about that. But if you were, talk about that. Talk about how you were nervous about the investment. You were worried about not following through. You were worrying about that you would quit. You are worried about judgment. You were worried about da, 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 da. I swear when you post that, other people who have been following your consistent journey are like, me too. She just spoke to me because that was my hesitation, or that is my hesitation. Got it. That's how she got over it, right? Pick a personal development book or audio to start. Who in your life is supportive and that will help you succeed? So when I first approached Eric about this, he said, don't do it, it's a scam. And I cried and I said, I wanna do it. I'm gonna do it. And he's like, okay. And I did it. And from that moment when I finally signed up, then he was supportive, right? It's really important to know who is a supportive person in your life in this. And as you are helping your coach get started, it's really important for you to know because that will tell you if their spouse is a supportive or not. That's going to tell you whether or not they have a sister or a mother or whatever is supportive or not. Because if they have people who are only bashing this, there's a lot of personal development to work through where they're going to hear their voices over yours maybe. And you have to know that and navigate that and connect them to the community, obviously. And then what time of day will you work out? When can you set aside time to work on inviting and helping others? By the way, did you hear that that didn't say, when do you have time to work the business? That's an intimidating term because they don't know what that means. It says, when can you set a time, set time aside to work on inviting and helping others? right? Way more powerful than when can you work the business? Because again, they don't know what that means. 
early morning, lunch hour, after kids, et cetera. And then going through our six roles, I said I wasn't going to go through this, but I'm, I'm, I guess I'm not having you answer. I'm just kind of going through this document, right? Um, six roles and hopefully coaching is one of them. So for example, a spouse, a mom, a teacher, mom to be, dog mom, student, nurse, like what are your six roles? And hopefully coaching is one of them. And then three reasons, this is again in another call, is three reasons, or three things you like about BOD. Right now, I love that it's the perfect nap time workout. I love that I can do that workout in, during nap time. That was me this morning. Like, okay, I don't know how much I have, but I, my workout's less than 30 minutes. I better hit play right now, right? Um, I love that BOD can go with me anywhere. And I also love that BOD, it's an easy to follow plan that will give me results. I don't have to think about getting fit. It tells me how to get fit. I love that. Shakeology. I love that it keeps me regular. First of all, peppermint mocha. Have you tried it? Is it not the greatest thing of all time? I, oh my gosh, it's so flipping good. That's a side note, right? I love that it was my prenatal with Faye. And I loved that it was a 70 ingredient snack blended in 30 seconds. I love that. I love that it was my go-to teacher like snack when I was running out the door because I always used to skip breakfast. And that's how you do it. I hope that this was helpful for you personally. And then two, got it. This is how I'm going to get my coaches started, right? I'm just going to go through this document. I feel more confident now setting them up for success because we can work through this. There's a lot of social media posts you can make with this document through your own story. Your consistent behavior of sharing your story is what wins the game. But you have got to be willing to ask the question. Live more inspired by where this will take you versus the fear of potentially someone saying no. That's my advice.